Hello folks! It is time for yet another Ryu Soldier review. I was going to tell you this was the last Ryu Soldier review, but I just saw some scans recently that said there's like a green repaint, slight remold of the sword. So if that's true, then and they actually released that as a toy, then I, there will be one more review. But I believe this is going to be our last one. This is our power-up changer. This is the Max Ryu Soul changer. It's a claw, kind of reminds me like of the Geki Claw from Geki Ranger that the uh, three main rangers would use to power up. Uh, the armor that he wears in this form, it's already debuted in the show. You can kind of see it there on the side and a little bit on the back there. It's fantastic. I think it's like the probably the best design power up in quite a long time. Uh, that's like armor based, very kind of like a common rider. Uh, so I'm down with that. Um, I'm going to open this up, give you a quick review of it. From what I can gather on the back, it looks like you can put two different Ryu soles in the back of it to do a power up. And I'm going to see like if they create different sounds. You know, if you if if it depends if you use like the ones that the Rangers used to change with. If you use the power up armor ones, if you use just the basic power ones, maybe mix and match, see if those do different things. So let us crack this bad boy open. And I just realized when I sat down that I forgot to get my batteries. So you're gonna see me running around in the middle of the video, assuming I need batteries. So that's always fun, right guys? To see me run around like a moron. I know you. that's what you come here for the videos, to see Jeremy do some Stupid nonsense. Let's see. Uh, t -t 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 yep, I'm gonna need two batteries. So let me run up. And I'll try not to get the same two batteries from last time that, if you watched my last review, it was some jank nonsense. Can't tell if that's a double or triple A, so I got them both sitting right here on the side. And I will grab something to open up the back with. All right. Sitting on the side because I'm trying to be professional. Here we go. Okay. So, comes in two pieces. This is the Max Ryu Soul Changer right here. Uh, does he need batteries too, or is he just cool by himself? I think he's just cool by himself. So this is the Max Ryu Soul. It's got the little slide part here in the back you can see. I assume it, he pops open when I put him in. Uh, but yeah, so he's, he's just basically their logo, kind of like a more stylized, angrier version of the Ryu Soul logo. And then we have, oh, uh oh, savor the peelies, guys. Savor the peelies. Ooh, the peelies. I savored them peelies. So, yeah, nice shiny button in the middle. Uh, I kind of, I'm not really big on this shade of green. I think it's kind of, kind of eh, you know, so so. Uh, let's see, hand wise, I mean, it's, a, it's about what you would expect. It's a little tight for an adult hand, like mine, you can see. And I don't have the biggest hand in the world. But, you know, it's a kid's toy, obviously, so you're not expected to get it all the way in there. That's what she said. So, but if you do it with just three fingers, it's, it's pretty good. Works pretty well. Nice little slashy slash. Okay, so let's see. Batteries here in the middle. Are these double or triple? Triple. You, it's almost always triple, but, you know... You don't know, you never know. Put these to the side. Made sure I got fresh battery so there's no foolishness this time. Yeah. Boom. See, it's much more simple than back in the day when you would have to actually unscrew it. Now it has the push button. Much easier. Much, much easier. Where's the turn on button? Oh, they're right next to it, Doc. Max Ryu Soul Changer. Pretty much what you expect. So 
it's got like three phrases it cycles through. Let's see. It says like you hit the button with the end of the sword, but you don't need to do that. Okay, so let's see how we go with this. Okay, so we take this, we put it in here. Oh, sorry, I hit the pop out button. How does it fold? Oh. Well, that was intense. And so it's kind of like a double-sided T-Rex head. Let's see what this says. Um. Oh, and then to take it out, it says fold it back and then hit the button at the bottom. Um. Let's see. So he's got a lot of stuff to play around here with. All right, so let's see what I can do with extra souls. So I flip it back in, and there's the bottom button back here, which lets it go. And so I'm gonna try first uh, two rangers. Supposed me to double it? Oh, he's saying awesome! Alright, that didn't seem to do too much. Let's try just some basic souls. Okay, so based on what I can kind of glean from the instructions and what I'm looking at the box, I think base, what they really want you to do is put in either one power-up soul in a basic or two power-up souls, and that's how you get unique sounds. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to leave this one in. And I'm going to put a power-up one in. Okay. All 
Okay, so this is what it says right here, okay? What I'm gleaning again. I don't speak Japanese, but if you put in two basic ones, it'll say awesome. If you put in one basic one and one special one, it'll say amazing. And if you put in two special ones, it'll say fantastic. So let's get them up. So we heard the first two. So we put the one special one in. Fantastic! And that's how you get the strongest attacks. And so that's going to be basically how this thing works, is that you've got the you've got the baseline one that gets you special sounds, and then you've got different combinations that can change the sounds and the level of attack. You know, it'll say like attack, one of each, it'll say special attack, and then it'll be like super special attack when you have one of each. So that's the long and short of how this works. Now, as far as this goes as an item, I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's a super necessary item, <clears throat> but it does have enough unique sounds on its own and it finds a new way to utilize the toys that you've already purchased to get more out of them. And to me, that's one of the most important things you can get from, stop it, from the, from the Sentai toys. So I think this is a fun purchase if you already have a lot of reused soldier stuff, you wanna keep the line going, you wanna get everything, that's cool. Personally, I'm one of the type of people that just, I just love to co collect changers for Sentai. Like, I love to get all of the changers. There's been some good ones, there's been some bad ones. When I say bad, I think about the Orange Rangers one from Tokyo. But anyway, this one's pretty solid. For a power-up one, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, maybe they could have found a way to just get a new cool soul to insert into the regular changer. I don't know how they would have done that. Some sort of add-on device would have been cool. But, because I kind of like it when everybody can use the power-up item. But hey, if Red's using this and all the other rangers can use the different little armors they have along the way, that's pretty cool. So I think that, again, this may be my last Ryu Soldier review. It may be my next to last, depending on if that green sword is released. But as far as Ryu Soldier as a whole goes, I really enjoyed it. It's not been, like, the greatest show. I think I've been saying that the last few Sentai. Same thing with Lupin Pat and... Uh, um, uh, Kuro, my name is saying, yeah, Kuro, uh, Q Ranger. Uh, both of those, along with this one, have been a lot of fun. They haven't been the height of Sentai. I think they had a lot more they could have given that they didn't. My favorite of those three would still be Loop and Pat, but you know, hopefully, Sentai is just going onwards and upwards. The uh, new Sentai, we've seen silhouettes, so the the actual costume should be released within the week or so. So we'll, we'll you know, it's time for some more new stuff. I enjoyed this return trip to Dinosaur Land, although I think I can agree with a lot of people out there when I say next time, wait longer before you come back. Come up with some more fresh ideas. We don't need to always go back to dinosaurs. But again, it was a fun series overall. I dug it. I hope you enjoyed this review. As far as I go, please just uh, like this comment, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. You know I've told you all this stuff before, but any bit of help that you can give, I would really appreciate it. I do read all read the comments. I, I There's only a few, but I mean, I read them. I, I would love to expand this more. And I do have a new idea that I'm going to debut fairly soon. It's going to be more of an audio than a visual, but it's still going to be uploaded on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I think it may be a little more controversial, but you know, it's just an idea that's germinating in my head right now. And we'll see uh, if it comes to fruition. So again, until next time, I am Jeremy, AKA Captain Subpar, saying to you forever and always that I am going to be King of the Geeks. Booyah! See, like that's actually, that's a pretty big, pretty, pretty solid um, thing. I wonder how I could pop it open on my own without having to... Oh, it's it's a latch right here. Duh. Boom. Ooh, T-Rex head. Scary.